Today we're going to have our first look at SSH, uh, Secure Shell. Um, it's kind of, if you're familiar with the old Telnet, it's the newer version of that. It's basically that, but encrypted. It's very useful for transferring uh, data from one computer to another, and it does it all securely. Um, first things first, uh, on most distributions of Linux, the client side, which is SSH, is already installed. Uh, but the server side, if you want some, so that allows you to connect to a remote computer. If you want someone to connect to this computer, you have to install the server side of it, um, which you can do on, depending on your system, but um, using uh, Linux Mint here, uh, which is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian, so uh, you can use aptitude, install, and uh, depending on your system, you'll use sudo or su, uh, depending on how you have it set up. Install, and we're going to install open ssh server. Now, I already have that installed, so I'm not going to do that, but go ahead and hit enter, and it'll ask for your root password. Go ahead and type it. It'll download, install that, and generate security keys for you. So at this point, um, I'm going to show you how to connect to a machine. Uh, just to make things easy, I'm going to connect to my local machine. I'm connecting back to myself, but just pretend that I'm working on two computers. Trust me, it works. <laughs> uh, you're going to type SSH, and then now if your username, which my username on my local machine is Metal, if your username is the same on the remote machine, you don't have to put the username in this command, um, but if it's a different uh, username, you're going to have to type in the username. So I'm just going to show you metal at 192.168.1.3. That's my, uh, my computer's address. And I'm going to hit enter. First time you connect to that machine, it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to connect to this machine? We're going to add the, the key to it, the fingerprint. And uh, you'll just type out yes. You can't hit Y. You have to type out yes uh, on most distributions. Go ahead and hit that, and it will ask you for your password. I will type in my password. I hit enter, and now I am logged in. And it gives you whatever log on screen that is by default on that system. And you can even see that it says that I'm logged into Ubuntu. No, I'm actually logged into Linux Mint. Basically the same thing. Okay, gonna clear that out. So right now, everything I do in here is actually happening on the remote machine. So if I go list, you'll see a list of files on that remote machine. Um, I can run commands uh, like nmap uh, 0.0.1 .0 and it actually is running it on that machine. If I type in that command it's going to do a scan on that machine. Um, What's really neat about uh, SSH is when you're logged in, it's using all the hardware. Basically, it's show using your screen as a display. Um, so if you were to uh, run a command like mplayer and start playing music, it's going to play out of the speakers on that machine, which I'll show you in the future makes it real easy to make a remote control application to control your music um, on your phone if you're running Linux on your phone. So at any point you can type exit and it's, you can see I logged out and I'm and the connection is closed. Now if we type the same thing, SSH, and we're going to connect to that remote machine again, I can do dash X, capital X, that's important, it's case sensitive, and hit enter. See this time it doesn't ask for, do I, am I sure I want to connect and uh, share the key, because I've already done that. It just goes straight to type it in my password. So I did that, I'm logged in again. That dash X allows for X forwarding. And for those of you familiar with Unix based systems and in Linux, your, your X is your desktop, it's anything graphical. So now I can run programs, I'll just do gedit as an example. Give it a second to open here. And you can see gedit opened. So my text editor, but you have to understand that's actually running on the remote machine. So, and it's just using your computer as a display. So if I was to go open, or if I was to save this, you'd see the files for that remote machine. 
and and everything you do it's not affecting the machine you're working at it's working on the machine that you're connected to and it's doing it all encrypted and uh, running x forwarding like this great on a local network if you're connecting like to some place on the other side of the United States or the other side of the world you might get a little lag if it's a big uh, application but still really neat and in future videos I'm going to show you how useful that is uh, once again with uh, devices like your phone to remote control and handle stuff so that's our first look and once again you can type exit to exit out of that our first look at SSH and remember everything in that is is secure uh, it's encrypted so if anyone's sniffing your your information on your network they're not going to see anything you're doing between those two computers because it's all encrypted so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, visit uh, bashscripts.info for more command line uh, tools and videos and scripts and I hope you have a great day